ladies and gentlemen i want to believe that this video is going to find you well wherever you are may i take this chance to thank you so much for your support to this channel january uh, this year president ruto proposed that the judiciary should have some of the judges and in fact we all also analyzed the proposal of Wafula Chibukati to be at the judiciary court. Today, the GSC shortlist 41 candidates, <coughs> including former IBC Chair Isaac Hassan, for the position of judges of court of appeal knocks out Wafula Chibukati interviews set for June 3rd to June 2024. So he knew very well if he, he also proposed Wafula Chibukati, Kenyans are going to react and it is going to be uh, on another case. But this man, Ruto, seems to be very clever, but Kenyans are cleverer than him. Raila Odinga came out in public, if you recall, and said that President Ruto is having interest to choose his only friends to take control of the Supreme Court. <laughs> and it, indeed, it is fulfilled. The shortlisted candidates, the 41, are President Fred. People like Hassan, Isaac Hassan. They all also participated in several elections. So president is coming out and proposing this. There was also a deal between Kome and President Ruto. They met in State House, discussed several issues, photos were taken, but there was no any other news saying that Ruto and Kome said this. What we saw in the news is that they met in State House. So there was a deal of proposing the 41 candidates shortlisted to work uh, as the position of judges. Then I, I have realized that the state capture of the judiciary. William Ruto was a, given a chance to appoint these judges. Martha Kome never responded. Even today, he never responded. There are friendly judges who have been appointed at the judiciary to have a mission with the deep state system. Because January this year, Ruto forwarded uh, uh, the names to the judicial team now I have looked Ruto and I see a leader uh, and I see Alexander the Great Leopard. If we recall the Alexander the Great Leopard. Let's take a look and listen to Raila again talking about this and you will realize it has now been fulfilled. D differences between the two branches of government. This fell a threat by Ruto and some members of his party and the administration against the judiciary following a string of unfavorable rulings against the executive. We warned that there was more than met the eye in the threats by Ruto and the request for a meeting by Madame Kome. We warned then that Mr. Ruto's real intention was to complete the capture of the branches of the government by the executive by taking over the judiciary, force it to forever rule in his favor, in addition to populating the institution with the loyalists. We also warned that in, the, in this entire plan, the judiciary was showing signs of willingness to prostrate itself before the presidency in an agreement or an arrangement that spells grave danger 
the rule of law on the entire country. We now know what has passed at a state house meeting and it is completely different from the lie the country was fed after that event. We can now confirm that there exists an elaborate plan that will allow Ms. Saruto to appoint friendly judges to the judiciary with the complete concurrence of Chief Justice Comey. This was among the issues discussed and agreed on during the ill-advised meeting between Ruto and Comey at the State House. At the meeting, the Chief Justice and Mr. Ruto reached an agreement that will supposedly allow Mr. Ruto to provide additional funding to the judiciary. In return for this additional funding, Justice Comey is to advertise vacancies for five additional High Court judges and 11 Court of Appeal judges. This is in addition to the 20 High Court judges advertised last year. As a matter of fact, the advertisement of the 11 judges has just been done today, in the today's Gazette. In that agreement... You've listened to Raila Odinga. Before I turn on, ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you that this please consider to give this video a thumb of like. Some of you are just watching the video, but they don't give it like. Please do me a favor, like this video. When you like this video, it reaches to several people in the YouTube platform, and it is a kind of job offer you are offering to our channel. Consider that, ladies and gentlemen, and I will really appreciate you so much. I also want to thank you very much for your subscription that you have really done to this channel. To the new members, thank you as you bought at the same boat with the members to subscribe, to, to watch whatever we, we bring to you in our YouTube platform. Thank you very much. Let's proceed. There is something which is going on here. So Raila Odinga is coming out and saying, Ruto had interest to appoint judges, which is right. But he had interest on only proposing his friends, not judges from somewhere. But he had shortlisted some of his friends to be at the Supreme Court to assist, assist the judiciary on performing. So this thing has been haunting Kenyans for several months. So today it has been fulfilled. You've seen 41 shortlisted candidates, including the former IBC chairman, Isaac Asa. These judges are going to be in the position of judges of court of appeal. Wafula Chebukati were among the team before, but this time round he have been knocked out. He have been knocked out because Kenyans were asking several questions. <laughs> that why would you propose Wafula Chebukati to be among the team of judges? Yet he knew very well what he did. This is the escape court. The Kenyakwaza government are using. I told you that there are those who are in state house just to plan what should be done for them to succeed on the next general election. You will we be shocked. So many things are going to happen in the next one or two years. You will be shocked seeing so many reshuffle is going to take place not because Kenyans are foolish but because they are just waiting at the last minute to react. I want to say that the appointment of judges is very significant. Not that I'm disagreeing with this but what 
you ought to understand is that the friends are the ones who have been appointed here to assist and have a mission to be fulfilled. They cannot be appointed with no aim. There must be a deal, even Martha Komi knows that. Maybe itakuja huko mbeleni, maybe itakuja leo, maybe itakuja after one hour. But there must be a deal. These people are appointing their friends. So when it's come to the Wafula Chibukati to be knocked out, they are only omitting Wafula Chibukati because Kenyans could have reacted. Oh, ndiyo mana alifanya hii. Ndiyo mana ilikuwa hivi. But because we have cunning people, <laughs> clever people, at the back of them, of Ruto's mind, he wanted Wafula Chibukati. That one I'm very sure about, hundred percent. He wanted Wafula Chibukati. In a manisha, Wafula Chibukati also must have a place in this government. He must have a place in this government. Whether Kenyans like it or not, there must be something to be given to Wafula Chibukati. Which is good. It is always good to pay those who have worked for you. So Rail Udinga uh, whatever I said have been fulfilled after we've seen GSC have shortlisted the 41 candidates on the position of now working with judges at the Court of Appeal. That is whatever have now taken place in our country, ladies and gentlemen. What can you say as I end this analysis at this point? Thank you and bye-bye as you hope to meet on another political discussion. Meanwhile, drop your opinion at the comment section below on this move.